I always tell scientists, don't dismiss results that you get that surprise you. If you get a result that seems surprising, it's telling you something. Either, either the result is very different from what you expected, which is informative, or your method isn't good enough. And that's also informative. Our research colleagues spend years trying to understand biological pathways so they can develop molecules that will either augment or, or disrupt the pathway that leads to disease. And so it's our job to make sure right, that we take the material that, that, that they've produced and uh, convert it to a manufacturing process. So each molecule that enters our development pipeline has unique characteristics. And because each one is different, each one requires slightly different tests to make sure we have a good quality product to send out the door. Asking questions is critically important. You know, we talk a lot about innovation. Innovation starts with asking a good question. What do we need to know? Uh, do we understand this well enough? In our case, we need to say, do we understand this well enough to, to treat human patients? Do we, do we know enough about the safety of this material? I think we do get excited when we get atypical products because it gives us the opportunity to try new things, to try new approaches, to be more innovative or creative in our method development. Um, it challenges us. And uh, I, I can't think of a time when anyone was ever told, that's enough, stop thinking. All right, they constantly want you to think about what you're doing and how can we do this better. You know, I know quite a few people who, family, who have family members who have various types of cancers and who are either receiving products that we already have on the market or who are in clinical trials with some of our other products that are still in our pipeline. It's very motivating to hear those stories and to make those personal connections with our work. Genentech is a magical place. Not only was it the pioneering biotechnology firm, but there's just something baked into the culture here about applying science in ways that makes it possible to improve human health. It's not a business, it's, it's, it's a mission. It's a passion that people have to, to constantly come up with new and better ways of developing products so that people can benefit from them.